on how to disassemble and assemble the system unit. Step 1. Procuring parts. First, you will need to buy the parts uh, necessary to build the computer. The parts we will use in this project are labeled, reb, leb, <laughs> are labeled in figure 1. Materials the name processor or CPU, computer case, optical drive or DVD, RW and CISATE cable, memory or RAM, power supply, SATE motherboard Hi. processor fan case fan hard drive assortment of case and drive screws flowers most if not all those parts can be bought together in what is known as bo uh, bare bones kit in this instance, the case motherboard or CPU, hard drive, and memory were bought together from the TigerDirect.com. Step 2. Gather tools and supplies. Step 3. Open the case. Open the computer case by removing the side panels. Find the screws that hold the side panels in place and remove them. Step 4. Preparing the case for assembly. Three things need to be done before assembly begins. Remove any parts or packaging materials that maybe have been shipped inside this case. Second, remove the cover for the optical drive in our case. We will be removing the cover in the highest drive by or DVD as shown. Three, make note of the cables being sold in this case. These should be front panel connections for features such as the power switch. Step 5. Ground yourself. Put the grounding strap on your wrist and connect the other end to the computer case if your strap is not fit with a clip. Step 6. Install the motherboard. To install the motherboard, we need parts that should have been included with your purchased components. Step number 7. Install hard drive. The hard drive is the device that stores all of your data. Eight. Install optical drive. Slide the drive into drive. By until the screw holes are lined up and the front of the device flush the with the front of the case. Step number nine. Install the CPU. Find the corresponding marking on the CPU sack and insert the CPU so that the markings are lined up. Step number 10. Install a RAM. Place firmly on both ends of the board to set it on the auto socket. Make sure to without slack in the place. Step 11. Install the CPU fan. Pull the locking rod down on the fan assembly to lock into place. Step 1. Install the case fan. Align. Align the mounting holes by holding the fan to, to the mounting pad on the inside of the case as shown. Step 13. Install the power supply. Align the mounting holes in the case of power supply. 14. Connect cables. Every device that has been installed needs power. Step 1. Unplugging. Unplug network cable that is connected to the computer. 2. The casing. After your computer is the unplugged, move to clear working space. Preferably a table. The, step 3. The power supply. The power supply manage all the power of the computer. Step 4. C 
CD or DVD drive. This is one of easiest component to remove. Just push and gray mental of pull out of drive. Step 6. CPU fan. The CPU is located right on top of the CPU heat sink, which is a large piece of metal with pins on the top. Step 7. Hard drive and floppy disk. Remove the metal casing on the top side of the PC. Step 8. The power switch. To remove the button, you will need to push it from the back. The side with the wires for clarification. So, those are all the components that are disassembled from the PC.